Sal, uh, Jose, at Brewery, at Brewery Peru. Peru. Me and his dog have the same name. His dog is a German Shepherd. <laughs> Shout out to all the German Shepherds out there. <laughs> What's up, Beer Nation? It's your favorite bloggers back for, back for our first video. We're here at the Brewery Taru over in Anaheim, California. Enjoying some delicious sours, wheats, and stouts. Wheats? Wheats. <laughs> Wheat beer. <laughs> so, let's kick it off. We got a flight each. Each of us got different things. I got like the peach, raspberry, goes to our red, the wonder, but I'm gonna start with peach. Alright, so right now she's trying the fruit peach. I like it. Yeah, you think of it? What's it taste like? Sour. <laughs> sour. sour. Alright, let's see. Let's try it. It's sour, but it's good. Yeah. Um, for some reason, I'm more, I'm like a sour and stout kind of guy. The most polar opposite taste that you could have with beer. But let's see. This one is Bring the Rucus. It's a sour ale with dragon fruit and passion fruit. It's super pink. So it looks kind of fruity drinking it, but I'll see how it goes. I just like this. Taste this. It tastes like you're drinking some sort of like citrus juice in the morning. I like it. Right? It's super good. You can even see the seeds in there. I think I might have just lost my beer. <laughs> I'm going to try the raspberry fruit. <laughs> fruit raspberry. Another tart wheat beer. This one, instead of peaches, Ooh. it's raspberry. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's super sour. It's really I honestly sour. thought the peach was more sour. No, I like the But peach definitely better. you can taste the hint of raspberries at the end. He likes party, I don't. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. We got the tart of darkness. It's a oak aged stout. That's 6.6% ABV. It's a sour stout. This one? Yeah. Kinda reminds me of blackberries almost. I like the oak finish into it. Different. Very different. It is very different. It has like a... I, it's good. It's, it is it's good. It's weirdly good. We're gonna try Goza Sorbet. It is 5.3 ABV. It's this one, right? It's a ghost with um, Rose... Um, Rose grapes, coriander, and, and sea, sea salt. salt. Another sour beer? No. It, it's, I don't know how to explain it. No? I like it. It's different. Do you consider that sour? First beer that we tried is not sour from this place. And now I have a um, melanage number one. What's the ABV? Uh, melange. 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 <laughs> tomato. I don't know. I just can't read. It's a red and stout. That's also supposed to be sour. And 8.6% of ABV. Someone's going to get buzz. <laughs> Man, that's not sour at all. It's really good. It has a tiny bit of a sour aftertaste. Ooh. I'll put a little hair on your nut sack. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I have the, the Wonder. It is a blended of blackberry and cherry sour ale as well with 8.3 ABV. And we'll see. A little tart, but not too much. You ordered like all the tart beers. 
I like it. Yeah, it's super good. Nice. See, the, the next one I got is Share This. It's, uh, it's barrel aged. What's that? Oh. 13 and a half ABV, so this is definitely gonna get you buzz. Put a little razzle in your dazzle, <laughs> put a little pipe in your step. That's strong. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can I see the bass one more time? <laughs> it tastes like NyQuil. No, it doesn't. It does. NyQuil doesn't taste like this. If NyQuil tastes like this, I'd be drinking it every damn night. No, it just tastes like NyQuil. So this one, I don't know. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it, but Jesse is, so. You have to have, um, it's an acquired taste. So if you have a passion for drinking NyQuil, then this is the beer for you. Or, what's that, Roby Tussin? Like the Tussin? Hater. Okay. And Hater. then, white chocolate BBA wheat wine with cacao and vanilla beans, which is 14% ABV. And... <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, that's definitely gonna get you. It's sweet. Let's, see. Let's give this one a shot. Personally, not my cup of tea. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I really like this. Put it back. This is my favorite. We'll get that after. I like it. And we're going to close out <laughs> this flight, both of our flights, with so what happens is Tuesday, 2017 version. It's a 14 and a half, sorry, 14.6% BBA stout. Highest thing rated on their menus. Try that, baby. 14.6. Well, <laughs> we still need, if we are in the Reserve Society, they have a beer that's 20 freaking percent. 20%. They're just gonna like fire in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let me get at least one more sip of this before it's all taken by someone, someone sitting next to me. So ha so happy to take that from me. The one if you like the one that she likes so much, that's the Brucicle Bring the Ruckus. Bring the Ruckus. But with kumquat. <laughs> yeah. So good. It's made with all these different fruits like tangerine, tropical fruit, lemon, uh, grapefruit, kumquat, kumquat, blood orange, dragon, dragon fruit, passion fruit. Jesus, it's about every single fruit you can imagine that's like super good. And they put it into a beer. And now it's all gone because someone here really liked it. <laughs> Man, I really love the beers here. We went to a brewery like last weekend or the weekend before. And it was honestly like the first time I went to a brewery and I didn't like what they had. Oh, God. I'm not going to name any names because I don't want to put any business down like that. But it was just not worth. We couldn't even finish half the beer just because it was so god awful. We didn't even finish half of it. Yeah, it was. It was a, literally it was a so chore bad. to get through. But you know, maybe we'll give it another try yeah. next time. When they have like their uh, double stuff Oreo stout back, Jesus, I wanted to try that so bad. It ran out right before we got there. If you guys have been paying attention to my Instagram channel, pretty much. You know that we love stouts. Preferably me. I love stouts. She likes whatever. <laughs> whatever my expensive palate likes. <laughs> yeah, she on our very first date she told me that she had a very sophisticated palate. I I'm know. a very expensive date. <laughs> she really is. I'm really liking these stouts. I'm a little worried to try these two ones, mainly because those ones are the 13.5 and 14.6%. And oh, that's a street taco. 
Yeah. We just had tacos. The brewery to over here, they have their own food truck that parks out in front. Jesus Christ, that's cold. That has a super cold hand. I don't know why she does that to me. Probably because she likes seeing me suffer. I'm probably gonna order another Bring the Rukas. <laughs> Finish this so first before you decided to order. It was so damn good. See, he likes that too. Oh, that's the highest percentage. Yeah, that's the highest percentage. Good night, Jesse. That's good night, Jesse. Train. This one too. Yeah, You're not even finishing them. Yeah, just because this is the one that I hated the most. <laughs> I just want to get over it, you know? Everyone's watching this. Do you want tacos? What? Do you want tacos? No, I don't want tacos. Everyone's watching this. Make sure you, that you drink responsibly. If you're gonna drink, don't drive. Like we're responsible. We're getting Ubers. We're only if we're driving. We're only having like one beer. No, we're not driving. <laughs> but be responsible. Don't drink and drive. We don't condone that. I need to start twirling my mustache. She honestly hates it when I do that. He looks like a... I'm a pervert. I am a pervert. Let me just post that on TV. This is a really nice brewery. I know. I love this brewery. Kill this. Why, am I, why do I have to kill it? Because you're the boss. It's the white chocolate one, right? I don't like the white chocolate. Me too. You ordered it. See, he doesn't like the white chocolate. She knows I've never been a fan of white chocolate. I don't like to eat white chocolate. Stop it. Oh my God, that hand is cold. It is cold over here, people. And she keeps putting her yes, freezing her. hands yes. all over me. It's like, what the, cold. what the heck are you doing? Because I'm cold. All right, these are some of the beers that we ordered. Let's see, here's the Brewer Society. That's what we gotta get on next. Be looking for us to come to any brewery festivals or like craft beer fest or anything like that. If you guys know, please hit us up. Like we're always looking for that kind of stuff. Uh, we love traveling, we love going places, we love doing things together as a couple. And don't forget to add us on Instagram. The Real Beer Bloggers on Instagram for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> we just have one beer left. I'm kind of babysitting this cart of darkness just because it's so damn good. And he's I really like it. Now. I smell Jesse from here. <laughs> he's buzz. That heavy breathing. No, not buzz. You think they have like to go? No, they don't have beers. Oh, growlers? Yeah. Yes, we're definitely getting a growler. I think we're getting the Brinda Rukas. Growler. <laughs> yeah. I think we need that. Yeah, we definitely need it I right mean, now. like, I don't need to drink it right now, but I want it later. We're in the process of moving to our new house right now. We, we got a house. No more apartment life for us. Apartment, no more apartment life sucks. Noisy neighbors upstairs. Oh, my God. The people upstairs, they keep, like, stomping. It sounds like they're freaking slamming weights. <laughs> and we night. never complain. Never complain. No snitching. Snitches get snitches. That's the life we live. These beers are so good. Please check out the Brewery Taru over in Anaheim, California. If you don't know, now you know. Beer Nation out.